Hey guys, welcome back. I missed you guys. It's been a minute. Um, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, this is going to be a sit down, chit chat, get ready with me update video. So I kind of wanted to fill you guys in on where I've been, what I've been doing, the whole shebang, but I wanted to do something else as well. So I wanted to kind of just share with you guys my go to, my current go to full face makeup look for day to nighttime, just everything. Um, I can't tell you how good it feels to sit back in front of this camera and just film. It just feels right and um, I'm in my new space, our new apartment, we're back in Washington. A lot has happened so yeah thank you so much you guys for sticking with me, being patient. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. You guys are the best and let's get started. <music> the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade and again this is not going to be like a full in-depth tutorial I just wanted to update you guys but I wanted to do it in more of an interesting way um, and kind of just share with you guys my current go-to makeup so starting with the primer I'm going to go in with the Olay Fresh Effects mattifying primer I still use this this is now my second bottle love this stuff and I'm going to just be focusing this all over my face really focusing on that t-zone area Then I'm going to go into foundation. What I've been really liking lately is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this is in the shade 106 Sun Beige. Um, I've been loving this stuff a ton. Really good for locking in those oils and lasting all day long. So, let's get into where I've been. It's been about two months since I have filmed the video. Um, so, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know about a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, my boyfriend and I moved to Colorado for his work. It was a great opportunity that we couldn't really pass up. It was a great choice, too, an awesome experience. And um, I was filming there for a while. Well, that's where I was filming for the past year. And it was great. Everything was really smooth, um, had a great routine, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so then we, it was a year contract that we were doing. Um, the year was coming up, and it was kind of like up in the air if they were going to extend it or not. So that became really stressful towards the last couple of months. We didn't know if we were going to be moving. So we started packing because one week we'd be moving. The next week they're like, actually, you know, we might extend you. Um, so it was a little bit hard to stay in a consistent routine, if that makes sense. Anyways, we're going to fast forward. In about November, we got the okay to move back. Uh, we had to move within the week, though, so it was very stressful. Um, all of my makeup, everything back here, and all my pieces were in storage while we moved to back to Washington, where we are now. And so, yeah. Okay, concealer, I'm going to go first in with the Master Conceal by Maybelline and then the Better Skin by Maybelline. I love both of these. Um, but okay, so then we were staying with my parents. We moved back, but we were still paying rent in Colorado till January. And so we moved in with my parents, just kind of like had all of our stuff in there. It was very nice that they could let us stay with them while we kind of like tried to find a place because everything happened so fast. Um, so yeah, we did that for about a month. And that's where I kind of started to let excuses kind of take over. I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with this where... Um, in, in Colorado, I'm going to rewind a little bit, I started getting really frustrated and just down on myself about the quality of my videos. I just feel like I could not perfect the lighting, my camera seemed to go out of focus a lot, and so much was built up that I would almost not dread making videos, but it was so frustrating because I would film something, be really excited about it, and then, you know, I'd look at the footage and be like, it's just not what I want, it's not the quality that I want. So anyway, so then we're at my parents, and... Um, I started to let excuses kind of take over. I would be like, oh, I really want to get a video up, I really want to film, but, you know, we're at my parents' place right now, I don't really have a place to film, all my stuff is in storage, and, um, you know, I kind of just, that mentality started going into my head, which, I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with that, but... It's hard to get out of that mentality, too. You know, it would just, everything, I'd be like, okay, well, once we get our new place, once we get settled, then I can start filming again. And, you know, once I get new lighting, then I can start filming again. So, yeah, that's kind of what was going on there. And also just taking a break from social media in general, which was amazing, I must say. Um, just to spend some quality time with family, people that I haven't seen in a while. It was, it was much needed, and, you know, it was just a really good time. But... Here I am now. We have our furniture. We have my uh, makeup room. I have my own room now in here, which is something I'm very excited about just because I can perfect the lighting and keep it there, if that makes sense. 
So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And um, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. I tried to do a little updating on Snapchat here and there, but um, not as much as I would like. But yeah, it feels so good to get back into this and film and just like chit chat with you guys. I have really, really missed you and missed doing this. Um, and a lot of you guys, it was really sweet, were checking in on me. And um, it was eye-opening and it was just really awesome. So I really appreciate that. And for those of you who have stuck with me here on my channel, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to get back in the swing of things. I feel like that took five minutes just to do my foundation because... I ramble a lot. <laughs> I'm going to then do a little bit of baking. This is a NYC Smooth Skin Powder. I've used this for a very, very long time now. And I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and pack this right under my eye area. My eyelids a little bit. My chin. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is literally all over my shirt now. Story of my life. So I'm just going to let this sit for about 30 seconds or so, and then we're going to wipe it off. I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm going to use the shade Banana and Vanilla with a little tapered brush like this. And then kind of dust away the powder. You can see it adds so much brightness, and it's going to make sure that your concealer just does not crease all day long. Then, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Almost Gone Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I'm really excited, actually, to use this product up. Um, I get sad. It's like a bittersweet for me using up products. I get sad because I'm like, oh, it's a bummer. I need to go buy a new one. But happy that it was, you know, money well spent. Also, let me know how you guys like this lighting. I got this ring light from my boyfriend's mom for Christmas, and I am loving it. It is the only lighting that I'm using, and then the window behind me. Um, I still have umbrella lights, so I can put up if you guys want more lighting too. But then I'm going to go back into the Anastasia kit. I've been using this a ton lately just because it's like an all-in-one and it's smaller than my Simply Spoiled uh, Perfection palette that I use a lot. But I'm going to go in with the warmest shade first and kind of lightly warm up the perimeters of my face. So what have you guys been up to? What products are you loving? How are you guys' holidays? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to you know, catch up with you guys and kind of get filled in on what you guys have been up to. We added a lot of warmth and then I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones just a little bit with the Sephora contour brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Fawn mostly and just kind of deepen out this area. I know this looks like a lot of makeup because it is but um, I've been doing this for a while now on the days that I do wear makeup and plan to wear it all day long maybe even into the night. Um, and so I've got this routine down pretty well to where it only takes me about 15 minutes, believe it or not. But of course when I'm talking, it'll take me a little bit longer than that. Okay, and then for a little bit of blush, I'm going to go in with the City Color Be Matte Blush. So not too much has changed, I guess, from my go-to makeup. I still love a lot of the same colors, a lot of the same products that I, I have been loving. Um, to be honest, I haven't really been buying too much makeup. I've been focusing on stuff for our new place. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you've kind of seen bits and pieces of like our living room, um, my beauty room I showed, kind of like a little me putting it together, um, kind of putting in the furniture and moving stuff around. If you guys want to connect with me over there, I'll just pop my little Snapchat. I think it's Katarina underscore 13. And then for a highlight, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lumi. This is in the shade Golden. Pop a little bit of that on there. Cheekbones, bridge of my nose, and tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. So that's pretty much the long part, is doing the face. And you can, of course, always cut steps out. Then for the eyes, I've been going for a really bronzy look. Um, copperish look. So I'm going to go with the Morphe. Uh, this is a W. 35W, and I'm going to go in with some transition shades. Ah! This guy will do this one. That one. And I'm just going to put this right into my crease. One thing I really like about this look is that it's so kind of like smoky, bronzy, and not precise. So I don't have to be precise with it, and I can be kind of messy in it. It's just supposed to be smoky. You know, there's not going to be any 
harsh lines or any craziness going on, which is why it takes me so little. To the Forever 21 Natural Beauty Palette. This I this is literally still one of my top five favorite palettes of all time. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful kind of deep rose gold shade. And I like to put it on my finger. I feel like I get the most color payoff that way. It is such a foiled shadow. Look at that. It has so much, um, so many, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> so when I want to add a little more definition, I'm going to go in with this, why am I holding this so awkward? <laughs> I'm going to go in with this beautiful kind of deep chocolate red brown. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the outside here. For the lower lash line, I kind of just do exactly what I did on the top onto the bottom. First taking a pencil brush and running those two transition colors, like the neutral browns, on the lower lash line. My eyes with the Rimmel Scandalize in black. Just gonna tight line. So, no surprise here, I have been using ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Trap, um, but I've been layering some other stuff over top of it to kind of change it up a little bit. But this is just kind of like me in a lipstick formula. It is the most beautiful. I can't even describe it. It's so unique, but I feel like it looks different on everybody, and it's really flattering on everyone. And I probably shouldn't be talking while I'm doing this. So then, if I want to lighten it up a little bit, go for an ombre. I've been using the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint in the shade Whisper. It's a very, very, like, um, flesh tone nude. To just put a little bit on my finger. And dab it right here in the center. If I don't want it to be matte, because um, I have the properties now that are going to make it last all day long, I've been going in with Cream Brulee. From NYX. Butter gloss. Alright, so that completes this get ready with me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I, I can't thank you guys enough for your patience, your support, and I'm just I'm just so happy to be back. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to pump out some more videos and get back into the swing of things. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!